Okay. I've got the bell siphon, or the pass-throughs anyway, in all of the four grow beds that I'm currently working on. I won't be able to do the other two until I can take down the temporary one over there. Uh, excuse me. Now, if you can see the three inch PVC down underneath the grow beds, I ran it along. I ran it long enough to go all the way out underneath the last grow bed when I install it. Uh, and using tie wire, I tied it up level. It's got about a half inch drop for every four feet. And which I wish it had more, but uh, I would have had to raise the grow beds up higher than I was comfortable with. I've got them about the height that I want them to be at. Um, but I've got them tied up with baling wire. Uh, use that as a leveling device, or as a securing device all the way through. I brought it down and using a uh, circle cutter attachment on my Dremel, I cut the hole in the sump, stuck the pipe through a couple inches, and uh, just put the mulch back around. It wound up being such a tight uh, hole that I don't really think I need to silicone it. I, mean, I probably will. I'll probably back up and put a little silicone on it later on, but uh, that's how it wound up. Then I took each one of my uh, grow beds. Um, for the bottom side of the bell siphon, yeah, I know it's a mess. Uh, it's a work in progress, remember. And you got a 90, a, a 6 inch section of 1 inch, another 90, uh, and the little stub that's sticking up, I'm holding it upside down, is to go into the, the fitting on the bottom of the grow bed. Okay. That is to dump into the uh, 3 inch tube. So I went down through each grow bed, stuck this in, swiveled it over to where it was centered on the uh, main drain line and made a mark. Now these are about an inch and five eighths across that fitting. So I'm going to run down and drill an inch and a quarter holes at each one of those openings for that uh, pipe to go through. Uh, the 90 should work. It's going to be a siphon anyway. The water is going to come pouring out. I will silicone around each one of them to seal it so there's not much loss through backsplash. Um, 45 might have been better, but I'd have had to make different holes in the top of the drain line. It would have been a little more difficult and for an oval shaped hole. Um, edges would have assisted in getting the water to flow the direction I want it to flow, but this will work fine. I can actually turn that 90 a little bit to get it to go in a little bit towards the direction that I want it to grow in. I'm sorry, go in. So, but that's all I've got left to do. I've got to drill the holes in those, pop the, put the grow beds back in place, pop these underneath, and uh, all my drains will be hooked up. Uh, for now, I'm not going to, I'm not gluing anything. I'm going to wait and see how it works without glue. Uh, everything's uh, cut to pretty tight tolerances and then pr pushed in as tight as I could push it. Uh, so hopefully we'll have no leaks and uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, until I get my gravel in and washed out, I'm not fully assembling anything. I've got my stand pipes in, but I'm probably going to actually take the my pass through my lock bulkhead fitting that I made with the electrical connectors out so that as when I wash my gravel, all the water can drain and I won't have an inch, inch and a half of water still standing in the bottom of the bed with all that dirt and everything from the gravel. So I'll probably remove those completely, put some duct tape over these holes and uh, rinse my gravel really good. Just let it drain into the mulch down under here. And uh, after I've got it washed out really good, I'll put everything back together. Uh, and we'll see what happens from there. But that's how I did it. Uh, there, I'm sure there's different ways to do it. There might even be better ways to do it. Uh, but this is for anybody that can't figure out how to do it on their own and just needs a little bit of help or uh, maybe a little bit of advice or a different viewpoint on how to do it. So this is basically going to be a chip piss system. I think that's how you say it anyway. It's going to be gravity feed from the uh, fish tanks to the grow beds. The grow beds are about two foot and a little bit more uh, below the top of the grow beds. It's about two foot plus below the top of the uh, 
fish tank. So there should be plenty of water pressure to fill the to drain down and keep the beds going. Then from the beds it'll be auto siphoned to drain to the buried sump, 275 gallon sump. Uh, it's going to have a uh, 1800 gallon per hour, I think it's 1800 gallon per hour, I'll have to double check, uh, pump and the sump. We should be able to keep up plenty even when I've got all 18 beds plumbed in. Uh, hopefully they won't all dump at the same time because in that case I might have some problems but I doubt that'll ever happen. I'm going to see if I can get them timed where they're rotating a little bit. If I have to put another sump in, I'll put another sump in somewhere. Uh, we'll just wait and see how it goes because for now it's just going to be two tanks and six beds until I can uh, get some more IBC totes in and cleaned up and, and in position. Uh, <clears throat>